Hello, my name is Satish Shati Wageshwaran and I am a product engineer in Amazon Redshift team. In this video, I am going to show you a simple demo of Amazon Redshift's ML feature which is in preview as of reInvent 2020. Amazon Redshift is an industry leading, fast, fully managed cloud data warehouse that makes it simple and cost effective to analyze all your data using standard SQL and your existing business intelligence tools. Amazon Redshift's ML feature allows SQL users such as data analysts, database developers, and data scientists to create, train, and deploy machine learning models using familiar SQL commands. Provide the data sets from which you want to train models and generate predictions using patterns in the data. Once the models are created, you can use them to deploy and run predictions at scale for newer and larger data sets without incurring additional cost. Under the covers, Amazon Redshift ML uses Amazon SageMaker for training models, while model deployment and prediction is entirely done in Amazon Redshift. Amazon Redshift ML automatically discovers and tunes the best model based on the training data using Amazon SageMaker's autopilot. Best of all, all this is done using a SQL prompt or a SQL client. There is no need to use any other tool. For the demo, we have chosen to use an imaginary customer activity data set for a mobile operator. The table is already created and loaded in the database. For training purposes, we will use customer data before the year 2020. And for the inference queries, we will use customer data since 2020. We will also set up database users and groups for this demo. We have a marketing group, a marketing user with permissions only to execute the model, a data science group and a data science user for creating the model. We will also make sure that the users have the necessary permissions to access the table itself. Here is an example model that we will use in the demo. As the name suggests, the model is trying to predict the churn, customer churn for a time period. The target specifies which column is the machine learning label and in our case it is the churn column. We need to replace the IAM role and the Amazon S3 bucket to suit our environment. The S3 bucket is used to store intermediate results and for Amazon SageMaker to utilize the training data set. Once the model is created, a Redshift SQL function is generated, which will be used for prediction queries. The default max runtime for create model is 90 minutes. Here is an example inference query, which uses the SQL function that was generated using the create model command. The query is trying to predict the customer churn who joined in the year 2020. Let's move on to the demo now that we are familiar with the setup. I have already created the customer activity table with data set loaded for this demo. Let's create the users and the groups. First, I'll be creating a marketing group, followed by a user that belongs to the marketing group. Uh, similarly, a uh, data science group and a user that belongs to the data science group. Now that uh, we have the users and group, let's uh, grant privileges for the group and the users. So users belonging to data science group have permissions to create model and for the table, while users belonging to marketing group will have execute permissions on model and usage on the table. Let's do that. So I'm going to grant the create model permission to the data science group. So let's run the create model command. Uh, with the training data coming from the select query. I have already replaced the 
IAM role and S3 bucket according to my setup. The create model might take some time because many activities like take place behind the scenes, including coordinating with Amazon SageMaker. I've set the max runtime to 30 minutes uh, for my case. So let's wait till the command finishes. The create model command is complete now. Let's run some inference queries. Here is an example prediction query which uses the SQL function created by the model. The inputs are the same columns that are used in the create model command. Let me run this query now. Before that, let me grant execute on model to the marketing group. Anything that is true in the output is an indication that the customer is going to churn. I'm going to show you this query in the form of visualization using Amazon QuickSight for more insights. I have used the output of the inference query to plot uh, some more visualizations here using Amazon QuickSight. Uh, first one is the customer churn by month. As you can see, January and May have the highest uh, churn rates, uh, 17. The second one is the customer churn by state. As you can see, West Virginia has the customer, uh, highest customer churn rate, followed by Vermont and Wisconsin. In this video, we introduced and demoed the preview of Amazon Redshift ML feature using a simple use case. Thanks for watching.